Hello boys and girls. In today's class, again we will do an optical art, but this time we will use only a scale, a marker, a black marker, and a gray pencil. So let's just start it and learn how to do it. First, I will use a scale and a pencil and will make a border on four sides equally in the sheet. So let's just make a border first. You can take it as a one centimeter also. So our border is ready. Now we will start with the optical drawing. We will take a center first with the estimation only and going to make first diagonal lines. Join the center to this part. And then center to the this corner. Similarly, this side. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to take a center line like this and horizontal line like this and some more of them they should be equal make sure when you're dividing it your both parts should be equally divided and the last one almost You have to make them carefully. Make sure your all the parts should be equal. So now we're going to just make some curvy lines inside them. First, I'm starting with this part. One. Two, I'm making them getting bigger one by one. Three, and we have to make opposite to it. One, two, and the last one. Similarly, you have to fill all the sheet. Alternatively, you have to move your pencil. Again opposite. You 
you can you have we going to make this complete like this so you can just follow the same procedure same steps to the each box each column make them very curvy And similarly, I'm going to fill my another half also. After finishing, it will look like this. Now we will move to the marker and we're going to outline this everything. You have to outline it also very carefully. Make sure you're not changing the lines. If you don't have marker, you can go with the black pen also. As you can see, I'm rotating my sheet continuously so that it, it get easy for me to make lines all around the sheet. And now what we will do, if we go into Fill the black part. We will going to fill the columns one by one. First, leave one white. Second, leave one white. Third, leave one white and Similarly, alternatively, I'm starting from above. We're going to fill alternately. This is white, we're going to do black here. Next, one white, one black. Similarly, the next one. Again, I'm rotating my sheet so 
that I can fill it easily. Okay. As you can see here it will look like this one black one white again black white and then alternatively black against white and again black against white now we will move to the another ones Enjoy the filling part and make it beautifully done. So similarly you can fill the whole sheet one white one black I'll show you the final one how it will look like after we have done the whole sheet black and white so after finishing it will look like this and now we will move to the pencil and let's see what to do with the pencil in the white area I'm just going to a bit shades on the sides I'm leaving the middle part white I'm just going to shade it like this. And making the similar shape.
similarly in every white column leave the center part white and shade the sides It will look like this something like this and now I'm going to fill the whole sheet with by doing the pencil like this so after completion it will look like this again and uh, you can erase the area on the black if you get any pencil on the black area you can erase that with the help of eraser otherwise you can leave this step also and now I will use a white pencil you can take any pencil color pen from pencil colors I'm taking a white pencil color and if you don't have white pencil colors you can go with the oil paste or any crayon also so it will look like this kind of your religionistic painting optical or an op art so now I have a white pencil you can use a pencil color also or if you don't have pencil color again you can go with the crayon or any oil paste and now similarly see we have left this white and on the black we will do it a bit white like this same area you have leave left here you have to shade it here It will make your drawing look more 3D and realistic and more illusionistic. As you can see here, it's almost looking very 3D. Try to see it with the blur eyes. It definitely look 3D to you. So children, do try this activity. And you will learn shading. And it's really very simple and illusionistic. You will definitely enjoy this activity. Similarly, filling, going to fill all of them. And one more thing, if you don't have white pencil, white crayon, you don't want to use, you can go with the white chalk also. But you have to do it very carefully, chalk part. Make sure it won't make your drawing look messy. I 
I'm just going to finish it. This is our last step. You can observe, I'm just, you can just see, I'm just pasting this part on this. The white part we have left in between the pencil area, we're going to shade in the black. And if you want to try the colored one, optical art, similarly I have posted a colored one also and you can get this on the my Biriscure channel video list you can check that also if you want to you if you uh, try the colored one it is almost same but the shapes are different and you can use your granny crayon and pencil colors in the colored one If you are a beginner, I would suggest you to use pencil colors or pencil sketch pens like these things. It's absolutely looking very 3D and illusionistic. I love to, I just love to do this activity, enjoying doing this. So please enjoy it with your black sketch pen or a marker and you can go with the pencil colors, pen. We have a lot of options. So don't think that we don't have enough material. I'm telling you again and again, you can use pencil colors, black pen white pen if you have or some crayons also you can go with them so it's looking like this Watch the colored one again and suggest.